Let's start with Lisa Marie's eldest daughter, Riley. You know, her new chapter and the new role that has Riley channeling her rock star roots. You regret me and I regret you. It's really emotional to, to have people care so much about your family. Three days after her mother was laid to rest, that's Riley, Elvis's granddaughter, in a first look at the project she finished shooting last May. How much of everything do you really want to know? From that classic shawl to the 70s sound, Riley is giving the spirit of Stevie Nicks. But I'm beating you to a dude. Riley performs all her own songs in Daisy Jones and the Six, which was adapted from a bestseller. It's executive produced by Reese Witherspoon and promises to take Riley's career next level. I was brought up to be like very private, um, so I'm still kind of like that. The Prime Video Limited Series debuts March 3rd. No word on how Riley will handle the media tour as the new mom faces life without her mom. She works, has been working since 13, very hard. The 33-year-old inherited Graceland along with her twin sisters. It's clear she also inherited her mama's singing voice. Do you watch and you kind of think of what you went through in your life and do you try to watch over her or you're like, honey, do it? I am very protective and worried, but I don't get in the way. In 2013, Riley co-starred with Justin Timberlake in the music video for TKO. What do you think of the new video with your daughter? I thought it was great. But it is also very dark. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a stranger to dark. At the moment, she's in Africa shooting Mad Max and um, I couldn't be more proud. In 2016, Riley was nominated for a Golden Globe for her performance in The Girlfriend Experience. How'd your mom take it? Um, she was very, very proud, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Most recently, Riley played opposite Chris Pratt in The Terminal List. What was some of the advice that your parents gave you? To not desire attention or fame to my mom. Like, that was, like, awful. She didn't want me to be, like, a celebrity kid. I'm just proud, you know? So proud. Riley actually didn't have to technically audition for her role in the first Magic Mike. Director Steven Soderbergh saw her tape, and that was it. Do you keep in touch with her at all? Yeah, yeah she's been going through a lot. Yeah, yeah, uh, all the love. It's not anything that anyone wants to have to go through. 